Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Follow a Sketch Friday. Today I'm using this sketch from the Sketches in Time blog. It was made by Bev. It does look like it calls for two photos and a bit of embellishment. So I do have my two photos. Uh, this is at the Slinky Dog Dash roller coaster in Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World. And then I've pulled out a couple of papers that I think will go well with it. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, I'm just going to tell you straight up. <laughs> there's not going to be a whole heck of a lot of embellishing on this layout. And I think that that's okay. I think that that's okay for a couple of reasons. One, it's my layout. I can do whatever I want. Two, this is going in a album that has a lot, a lot of visual stimulation in it. It's a Disney album. Uh, so there's like, I can do whatever I want. One, there's already a lot of visual stimulation. Two, uh, and three, I like a variety in my albums. I like big, thick, lumpy, bumpy pages. I love mixed media pages. I love clean and simple pages. I love it all. So there we go. Three reasons right there why, why it is totally okay to not have a super embellished layout. More is more until less is more. And that's just the way it is, guys. Now, see this little hexagon paper from Echo Park? Now, I thought I was being really, really smart in cutting all of my uh, diagonal lines in one direction, and then I went over and cut the diagonal lines in the other direction. I was like, oh yeah, now I'm gonna use my pin blade to cut straight lines, and this is gonna be so quick and easy. It ended up being a lot longer than just cutting it out with the scissors, which is what I end up doing on the other side. But, you know, sometimes you have to do the things to know if they are quicker or better than the original way that you planned on doing it. So for me, uh, scissors were much better to cut the little hexagons out than uh, using the pen blade and all of that stuff. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because in the sketch, there is like this little... Uh, horizontal line and then there is a white line on top of it so I knew I wanted my hexagon paper to be that black thicker line that was there and then I wanted something over top of it so I was going to use this sticker because the toy box collection uh, done by Stephen Duncan for Cartabella is perfect absolutely perfect for any kind of toy story photographs and I have a ridiculous amount of Toy Story photographs because this was the first time that we saw uh, Toy Story Land in Hollywood Studios. Um, I have decided that not every photograph is going to be scrapbooked in the traditional 12 by 12 way. I will definitely have pages just of four by six uh, photo sleeves where the, the photos are just gonna go in. Um, I do do that on kind of special I want to say special events um, like when we went to um, Hearst Castle I had taken a ridiculous amount of photographs and a lot of them were just in photo sleeves um, I do it on Disney photos um, just when I have a ridiculous amount of photos and I want those photos in an album but I don't really want to scrapbook every single photograph um, so that will happen with the Toy Story photos but now I have my hexagons cut out. I'm gonna put it on top of this black and white polka dot paper. Now both the hexagons and the black and white polka dot paper are from For the Record 2, I believe. I believe it's For the Record 2. I went ahead and grabbed a piece of red eight and a half by 11 cardstock from my stash to go ahead and mat my photos. So I realized that I was really concentrating on using up pattern paper in my stash and that basically meant I was ignoring my cardstock, uh, besides my white and black cardstock, because I do reach for that an awful lot. Um, so I decided that, you know what, as I'm using the pattern paper up, I really do need to use up the cardstock as well. I used to think that cardstock had to be on every single layout. Uh, and then I was like, oh, psh, pshaw, pshaw, whatever. Um, and then I didn't use cardstock on any layout. And now, I feel like I need to have that healthy mix of both pattern paper 
and cardstock yet again. So now I have my uh, hexagons cut out. I have my sticker down there. And then my title right here is going to be So Many Toys, So Little Time. And I totally, totally eyeballed the foam and really screwed it up and made the foam way too large for what I needed. Now I am going to, um, you know, I'm going to follow the sketch kind of. Um, I'm using, now that I've got like the basic layout of the sketch, it's kind of like inspiration. Um, and that's the beautiful thing about a sketch, you guys. You can copy it exactly. You can copy one element off of it. Or you can kind of look at it and you can say, yeah, I can see where you where you use that sketch uh, as your inspiration. Uh, and that'll be what happens for follow a sketch February, which is really awesome. So if sketches are your thing, um, I do have follow a sketch Friday, every Friday. Um, and then every year I do follow a sketch February. So that means every video for uh, the month of February, I will have a video every single day uh, that is following a sketch. And whether that is following it exactly, you know, a meticulous study of the sketch or I'm pulling an element off of it or I look at the sketch and go rogue, that happens sometimes. Um, so if you love sketches, there is that. And then Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life has her 30 days of sketches series that happens in March. So I also participate in that. So there will be all kinds of sketches uh, in February and March. Now, if sketches aren't your thing, that's okay. Um, I don't just post sketch videos. I do post some other videos as well. Um, but if sketches are your thing, then definitely this is the place to be. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. So now I have put these two little cut apart cards over here. And this is kind of representing that circular element over top of the photographs. I really didn't want to put a circular element on there. Uh, so I went with that. And then I built up this little cluster of toys across the top here. Now I am looking at my die cuts. I'm trying to figure out if I want to put anything over here. Um, I don't feel that my photograph is leaning off to the left. Like I don't feel it's gonna fall down. Um, but I'm just trying out things to see if I like it and if I need that weight, you know, that, that weight to the page. Ultimately, I decide I don't need the weight to the page. Uh, and then I add on some enamel dots and some enamel hexagons after I turn off the camera and you'll see those in the photos at the end. But there it is, you guys. My uh, Slinky Dog roller coaster layout is completely finished now. There you can see those hexagon enamel dots. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.